Hi, I'm James L. Berry, and I'm the illustrator for the Warriors comic series. And today I'll be drawing Ravenpaw. Ravenpaw is a black cat. He's also a loner and a little bit more innocent and, um, and excited than some of the other cats. Whenever you're drawing, it's best to start with simple shapes. And I'm going to decide which direction we want Ravenpaw to be looking. So maybe this time I'll draw Ravenpaw looking. So I draw my guidelines around that circle to sort of make it look three dimensional. And I add another circle for the muzzle. And again, we have his ears, just like a cat, has big pointy ears. Then I sketch in where the eyes would be using those guidelines and sketch in a little line coming forward towards the nose that goes around the muzzle. So at this point, again, I could be drawing any cat, but when I start adding the details and the features of Ravenpaw, that's what really makes the character come to life. So Ravenpaw has a different uh, shaped eye than Graystripe. They're a little bigger and they curve upward. So I'll sketch that in first. And also the thing about Ravenpaw is he was described in the books as being a black cat uh, but I was worried when designing the characters that if I made him entirely black, um, it would be hard to show expression on his face. So I imagine that his muzzle and the area around his eyes might be a slightly lighter color, more gray. So that's why I sort of created this um, masking effect around his eyes. So the great thing about that is it sort of acts like a pair of eyebrows as well, so I can show expression. He's also got really nice uh, curvy cheeks. He's a lot softer than Graystripe. He's got a squared off chin though. So he usually has a smile on his face. All right, so we have a very loose and light pencil sketch. And again, you don't wanna to worry too much about the details at this stage. If you make mistakes, it's just fine. You can always fix that later. But now we have the simple drawing of, of Ravenpaw. And now I'm going to outline the character with a pen. Again, I like to start with the outline of the head and indicate the soft fur around his cheeks and the squared off chin and the far side of his muzzle. It's a hard line. So you can see right here, he's got a very different shaped face than Graystripe. So it was important to make each cat look unique. So I've sort of gone around the outline of his head. Um, now it comes to the um, shape around his eyes, right? So like I said, I sort of have this mask shape around his eyes and I didn't want there to be harsh lines around his eyes. So I use sort of a feathering technique where I do these nice little uh, curvy shapes around his eyes. So that kind of creates the uh, mask around his eyes. And again, he's got sort of wide, big eyes that are upturned on the sides. Okay, so again, I'm gonna go forward from the corners of the eyes towards his nose. Draw a little line there. All right, and then I'm going to go around the outside of his muzzle. Again, using that sort of uh, feather technique, feathering technique. All right, okay, so from there, um, I can erase my pencil uh, sketch. So now I can go back and uh, fill in any details that I might have missed. Um, I could use a different pen or a brush pen again. So obviously Ravenpaw is a black cat, as we mentioned earlier. So for today, I'm just going to be doing the outline, but you can fill in the face with a black color if you want. So another feature of uh, Ravenpaw 
He has some little spots on his cheek where his whiskers come out. There are nine of those. All right, so you definitely don't want to forget his whiskers. Um, you, know, you can refine the nose a little bit if you need to. All right, so here's the line drawing of Ravenpaw. He's a black cat, so we would uh, generally fill in that with a black marker or a brush. This is what he would look like finished.